Chapter Six: Repentance and Reform. Sutra, seeing the scholars and common people of Guangzhou and Shaoquan and the four directions assembled on the mountain to hear the drama, the great master took his seat and spoke to the assembly, saying, "Come, each of you, good knowing advisers. This work must begin within the self nature, at all times, in every thought." Purify your own mind, cultivate your own conduct, see your own drama body, and the Buddha of your own mind. Take yourself across, discipline yourself. Only then will your coming here have not been in vain. You have come from afar to attend this gathering because we have comic affinities in common. Now all of you kneel and. I will first transmit to you the fivefold dharma body refuge, refuge of the self nature, and then the mukhlis, repentance, and reform. Commentary: Shao Guan is the present day Zhu Jiang. Students and common people from north, east, south, and west went to Nanhua Temple at Pao Ling. Mountain to hear the great master explain the drama. The master said, "The work of sitting in chan meditation, the mind ground drama door, must arise from within your self nature. Every thought must be correct, not deviant. Proper thoughts purify the mind. Improper thoughts defile it. You personally must cultivate this drama door. No one else can do it for you." Your own dharma body is simply your self nature, and the Buddha is within your own mind. If you take yourself across by receiving and keeping moral precepts, you will not have wasted your life. We meet here because conditions from former lives have ripened. Now put your right knee on the ground, and I will transmit to you the fivefold dharma body refuge. And the mukhlis repentance and reform. Sutra. The assembly knelt, and the master said, "The first is the morality refuge, which is simply your own mind. When free from error, evil, jealousy, greed, hatred, and hostility, the second is the concentration refuge, which is just your own mind, which does not become confused." When seeing the marks of all good and evil conditions, the third is the wisdom refuge, which is simply your own mind when it is unobstructed, when it constantly uses wisdom to contemplate and illuminate the self nature, when it does no evil, does good without becoming a text, and is respectful of superiors, considerate of inferiors. And sympathetic towards orphans and widows. Commentary: Pay attention. The morality refuge is simply to have no thoughts of right and wrong, good and evil. In order to keep the precepts, you absolutely must not be jealous. Neither should you be aggressive, like a bandit. If the mind remains unperturbed in all states. Good and bad. That is the concentration refuge. Do not obstruct yourself with feelings of inferiority, but use wisdom to destroy ignorance, so that you may view the self nature. Refrain from evil and practice good, but do not become attached to the idea of merit, as the Emperor Wu of Liang did. If you do good, forget about it. Don't run up to the heaven of the thirty-three and shout, "I gave one hundred dollars. I gave one thousand dollars. My merit is higher than the heavens." This is to be stupid, like an emperor. Oh, it is not wisdom. Respect your father, mother, teacher, and elders, and never speak of their faults. Do not be like the boy. To testify against his own father, the police asked the father if he had stolen a sheep. No, said the father. What do you mean, no? cried his son. I saw you kill the sheep 
eat, sit, and sell is boom. How can you deny that you stole it? This is wrong. If you know that your father is guilty, when the police come, you should run. Refuse to testify. This is called respecting your superiors. Be considerate to those beneath you. Don't be mean to little children and unsympathetic to widows. Mencius said, A child without a father is an orphan and an old man without a husband is a widow. Orphans and widows deserve pity and support. Sutra The fourth is the liberation refuge, which is simply your own mind independent of conditions, not thinking of good or evil and free and unobstructed. The fifth is the refuge of no nature and views, which is simply your own mind when it is independent of good and evil conditions, and when it does not dwell in emptiness or cling to stillness, you should then study this in detail, listen a great deal, recognize your original mind, and penetrate the true principle of all the Buddhas. You should welcome and be in harmony with living creatures, and without the idea of self or other, arrive directly at body, the unchanging true nature. Commentary Is this clear? The absence of self-seeking is liberation. If you are self-seeking, you can't put everything down and so continually scheme and plot to be liberated, to not grasp at good or evil. If you say, I will sit here and not study anything, I am empty. Your state is useless like the emptiness inside a rubber ball. It is not the empties of the world. These people sit all day thinking of nothing and doing nothing. At meal time they eat and at bed time they sleep and do not even dream. This is a pitiful waste of time. What should you do then? You should study the sutras in detail and listen to sutra lectures. Those who dwell in emptiness and cling to emptiness, cling to stillness, claim to study Buddhism. They do not listen to lectures or study the drama, but if you ask them about it, they say they know it all. You should welcome living creatures and be in harmony with them. In the Chinese, to be in harmony with is expressed by the phrase to unite the light. What does that mean? All lamps give off light. But have you ever known lamp light to fight with lamp light? Has a lamp light ever said, you are brighter than I am, that is no good. I am going to put out your light. Upon which it hits the other lamp light. The, or the other lamp says, your light is too small. Either make it bigger or move out. None of that goes on between lights. Do you understand? It applies to everyone in the world. You practice your way and I will practice mine without hindering one another. You cannot decide that someone's reputation is too dazzling and try to ruin him so that your name will shine. It is permissible for others to be jealous of me, but I am not jealous of anyone. The better you are, the better I like it. The more success you have, the happier I am. Not to be jealous is to unite the light. You might say, I'm uniting the light with him, but he's not uniting the light with me. If you were truly uniting the light with him, you wouldn't know that he wasn't uniting the light with you. Do you understand? If you unite the light with him, how can you know that he's not uniting the light with you? He won't unite the light? That's no problem. Just continue to unite the light with him. Welcome living creatures. If you like a great vehicle Buddhism, I will explain the great vehicle. If you like a small vehicle, I will explain the four noble truths of suffering, originating, stopping, and the way. If you like the Bodhisattva way, I will explain the six parameters, giving morality, patience, vital concentration and wisdom, and the 10,000 conducts which lead to realization of the Bodhisattva. 
If you like the dramas of the Pratika Buddhas, I will explain the 12 conditioned causes, ignorance conditions activity, activity conditions consciousness, consciousness con con conditions name and form, name and form conditions the six senses, the six senses condition contact, contact conditions feeling, feeling conditions love, love conditions grasping, grasping conditions becoming, Becoming conditions birth, birth conditions old age and death.